I still have to sort out these boxes. This is actually my vision board. Thank you, Nutella. Fuck you, it's my ice cream. I just wanted to say for clearing things out. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday today. It's currently 1.37 na ng hapon. And I didn't have breakfast yet or lunch. I just only had coffee. I will eat around 4 because that is my schedule for my intermittent fasting. I would eat around until 10. So anything, I could eat like anything, everything. Doing that, I feel a little bit lighter. I don't feel like bloated. I don't feel like there is so much stuff on my stomach. It's also a way of detoxifying my stomach this way get the ideal weights that I am having for myself I have been doing this for almost a week now and so far I have feel light as a feather so yeah and Coco here is sleeping he always go there whenever I'm in the room this is his safe spot yeah I don't know what is going to happen today but I am sure that on Monday we are going to take Coco to the vet and I don't know yet if we are going to desex him now that he is only five months old and I'm very worried but I've read so many forums that you would only desex him only if you're worried about unleashing them with females and so far we don't do that he would just play with the dogs in the park yeah we don't have females at home other than him and also all of our friends dogs are male so he is good but I'm very sure that we are going to take his cherry eye because that has been bugging him although it might recur again with his right side possibilities are 50 50 on his left side we are just going to do it because you know it's heartbreaking to see him on that condition and that kind of like disrupts him from doing so much because he's always run down i felt bad for him having the cherry eye so we're going to sort that out i am just editing my video here which will be up today because it is friday today i still have to sort this out this trash over here joke it's really laundry that has been dry and I still have to sort out these boxes because these are my Sarah purchases and I have to open it soon. Oh, I have to show you this one. This is actually my vision board. These are the stuff that I would like to achieve. So, Chanel, Range Rover, Hagen in Burma, Mom and Dad in Australia, my citizenship, and then what else here? So yeah, I wanted to go to Japan too because it's a wonderful place to be at. Their culture is very nice and their food is also nice. But my priority this year is just seen by parents first. No, this. Thank you so much. <laughs> the lady came in his life because he had soy. This ice cream you get back from the bar and the night cream bounce. It's all what? Proper ice cream. Come in, Evan. Thank you, Nutella. Fuck you, it's my ice cream. So I'll treat him. Come here. Come on. You can cut that out. No. I would never get that out. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would never get that out. Here, give it to him. Come here. Come here. Coco. Coco. Oh, right over here yesterday it was one big bulging pimple right on my left side of my nose it's actually good that you have pimples because it tells you what's wrong with your body or your regimen and I actually know what I'm lacking I ran out with my facial wash because I'm really lazy to just have a trip to chemist or the pharmacy and I have been using the Bior I don't know if I pronounce it well Bior unplugging facial scrub with micro
micro beads because though it has a micro bead still a little bit gentle to my face and it has a cooling effect which leaves your face refreshing you know as soon as you would wash it out you would just actually feel the um, coolness and it has a salicylic acid which makes your face pore free dull free and breakout free and do you remember that I told you that I have a warts on my left side of my finger on my what's it called index or no it is an index i don't know what's it called i don't know what's it called but i developed a warts over here it's gone now thanks to my doctor dr lim i don't know what's it called a nitrogen nitrogen blah 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 but it's actually a dry ice and i actually made two trips to him it falls off now now i can see my fingers and really make a trip to the nail salon which i am super excited i don't know if i'm going to do it today but crossing fingers anyway i am having my coffee which is a big chug of handled beer mug and it's very awful that i'm using this one so i am going to do my morning routine now. This is something that I always do. Never forget your morning routine. So I am done. I am going to get my trackies now. I am going to have my face like this one. And also I would like to wear something very comfortable. And I actually recently bought this one from Courtyard. This is actually not my color. Something that I haven't tried it on on my wardrobe. Underneath it is something that I got from Amazon Fashion. This is actually a pair to this one but on a very off color. They're not similar. But that will do. Yeah, I got them in extra small. And this one, I got it in medium. And even though if it's medium, it's still tight fitting where I just want it to be really baggy. So beware of that. What I'm going to do today is I will try to arrange an appointment because this time we're welcome to the new normal now where you have to book anything from the shop. Unlike before, you just walk in and do your nails. Now you have to book it up. Busy. Pharmacy or chemist. Also, I'll be going to a pet shop because I need Coco's dry shampoo. These are the stuff that I grab. I grab some treats for Coco. This is a chicken, dried chicken. Let's see if he eats it. I'm just going to give him a little bit because he's going to eat anyway. It's like a dried chicken like this. Ah, oh, he eats it. And then I grab some shampoo and conditioner because his shampoo and conditioner i think irritates his eyes so i'm changing to this one and i got him some cologne it's actually a rose hips and mango and this one is a green tea dead seed mud yeah i also got something from the chemist because these are on sale so i got three of these ones also got some ole because I have developed some, I don't think it's melasma, but it's like pigmentation around my face and here also. I've been using this for a really long time now, but I changed to quite expensive beauty regimens or I haven't used enough SPF. This is why it's like this one because the sun here is so damaging. And I got this in two because I told you actually a while ago that this is actually a miracle to me so yeah and that's it a very important update my toast is burnt but i'm still going to eat it it's already 1 45 and i have here the butter 
I think strawberry. We're actually eating really bad today, but I think eating is something that would make you happy these days. And I don't really feel bad of eating so much or eating not the right kind of food. So I just don't know these days, but when it's nighttime, I get more hungry. Maybe because at night my body is at rest, it tricks my mind to actually say like you need food, you need food. Mm. That's Coco. Cool, cool. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I just had my shower and then I just put my event toner. I am coming back to Olay now because of this pigmentation on my face. I haven't had that whenever I was living in Thailand or in the, back in the Philippines. But since I've been using the stuff that I'm using now, this one appears on my face. So I'm kind of going back to Olay, which is this one. I've been using this for 10 years, more than 10 years. I think on my first days when I was in college. And also I have been using this Dermatologica Biolum C Serum. This is actually very good because it brightens up your face and what else? I just wanted to say or clearing things out about a coveted question about myself of people that I have been encountering throughout my life. When they ask me am i okay of being myself i have a friend back in the philippines he visited me and found me in the sofa sleeping and he looked at me he stared at me and say my life is so pity <laughs> When I woke up, he told me that and I said, no, you know, there are people that are like you, that you like people, you are loud, you are comfortable with people. May iba pa nga na kahit umihi lang, magpapasama pa sa friend. I am the opposite, totally opposite of that because I can watch a movie by myself, eat at the restaurant and sometimes I find myself looking for restaurants that has nobody and I'm the only customer because that is how I really looking for quietness of a place where I could just read books and just really find peace and I'm very happy very very happy of that no one is destroying my peace that I've made for myself and with my dad he is like me he would go to our farm come back late afternoon eat meals at night and by 8 p.m. he would just be in bed and sleep I realized that I am like him most of the time that I spend in Thailand were like that. I enjoy myself. I enjoy myself being alone, but not lonely because I really find happiness with myself. Because people who are surpassing that kind of level of aloneness, they will be fine with socializing or interacting with people rather than people who are struggling with being by, by themselves, that they need so much people, they need crowds, they need to be with somebody just to be fine. And it's for frustrates me people who are asking me why are you so isolated why you don't make friends where i don't ask them why are you so loud why do you need crowd why are you extra friendly i just care about you as a person i accept you as a person whereas people get to be frustrated seeing me why are you not making friends i was in thailand i only had few people that i circle with people get to be frustrated about it where i am not with them or to them i just changed to more comfortable now this is my heel song jacket anyway when few people are entering my world i would like to take care of them i would like to take care of their feelings and i can nurture it whereas having so much people your heads are out of place you don't know who to talk to what to talk to it's just frustrating for me i am just making this video just to put out there that there are people like myself and there are people who likes crowds who likes to talk who are loud i just wanted to put it out there that there are people like myself and that's fine i'm okay and i am having the best time of my life being or relaxing or being alone and enjoying my quiet time my peaceful my peaceful time so yeah i'm just going to end this vlog now because this is so much already and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe now and click the notification bell right beside it for you to be able to whenever i post another video like this like share and comment down below be safe and be happy guys bye bye